Hey what's up guys I'm at here and today we have the HT04 smartwatch. It is one of the latest roundel smartwatches and it comes packed with many amazing features inside it. It has 1GB of storage capacity to store music, pictures, ebooks and record sound on it and not just that you can also connect it with wireless earphones. It comes with an AMOLED display and has very sharp colors. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at all of its features but before we start if you are new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and take a look at all of the features of the HT04 smartwatch. So here's the box, let's go ahead and open it. Inside the box, first of all we will get the HT04 smartwatch. It comes with 22mm straps attached to it. After that if you lift this up, we get USB A wireless charger inside it. And in the end we have the user manual to get you started. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And here is the first look on the display. First of all it is said to be using JL7012 chip inside it. And overall the processor performance is quite good, the smartwatch is quite good in responding to the touch and overall the speed of the UI is quite good. Then we have metallic body, we have two keys on the right side. First of all we have an insensible knob key and you won't hear a clicky sound whenever you scroll it. It can also be used to access the menu and to go back from a selection. After that the side key can be used to access an application, so you can go to settings and here scroll down and go to custom button and here you can choose the function for the side key for example if i choose timer then it will be used to access the timer application after that on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensors and here we have the 22 mm straps area and it is compatible with all of the 22 mm straps here's how the smartwatch looks on the wrist what do you think about it let me know in the comment section below if we talk about the display it is said to be using 1.43 inches oled display and i've confirmed with the darkness that it is using a true OLED display as it doesn't emit light in the dark. The resolution of the display is set to be 466 into 466 and overall the text quality and everything is looking good. Here's a look at the bezel size, it is using a full screen display. Now let's take a look at all of the watch faces. And these were all of the built-in watch faces in the smartwatch. If you press and hold, we have the lock option. So even if you use the crown key accidentally, it won't change the watch face, which is a really good option in my opinion. In the settings, preferences and time format, you can also choose between 12 hour and 24 hour clock format. We also have the date format option. You can choose the one you prefer. Now let's talk about the display time. So if you scroll down in the settings, we get the always on display option. It has two options for always on display, one with the pointer clock and the other with the digital clock. The screen of dial can stay on forever until the battery dies. After that in the settings we also have the screen time option and in the screen time before I updated the smartwatch it had the always on display option but after the update the normal screen time has the 10 seconds option and after 10 seconds of inactivity the display will turn off and turn on the screen of dial. The smartwatch also has palm gesture and it also has tap to wake option which only works for 5 seconds when the display goes off and if more than 5 seconds have passed by the tap to wake option will stop working. In the end it also comes with the race to wake option. Now let me show you all of the languages supported by it. And these were all of the languages supported by it. If we talk about vibration intensity, it has two options, weak and strong. And the strong level is not the strongest in my opinion. After that we have alert methods, we have vibrate and ring ring and only vibration option. Now if you take a look at the home screen, we get the control center. There are a lot of options given here. Then we have a quick access page. We have the weather application here. You can also scroll down to access the weather for the upcoming days. After that from right to left, we have quick access applications and you can press and hold on these applications to add them or to delete them. In the end from bottom to top, we have the notifications. If you take a look at the menu styles, it has two menu styles. First of all, we have a list view. It has its own theme and the other style we have is checkerboard or the grid view. The overall smoothness is looking good. It does not have app opening but it does have app quitting transitions. It is using QI Fit Pro application and it is detected as HD04. Here first of all we have the call notification option and then we get the app notification option. In the app notifications we have the others option which means even if an application isn't listed here it can still send you the notifications for it. It does not have to include all of the applications on your smartphone 
but includes most of the main ones. It wakes up the display when you receive a new notification and shows a full screen prompt. As far as I've checked, it does not ring only message alerts. It does not support scrolling for longer notification and it also does not support emojis. After that we have smart reminder, then you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and add up to 500 commonly used contacts. And the smartwatch comes with 1GB of storage capacity. And to take advantage of the storage, you can store pictures inside the smartwatch, then you can also add local music in the smartwatch. You can store ebooks inside it. It's not the best device to read ebooks, but it can help you in storing a list for example while you are going out for grocery. And in the end you can also record sound on it. If we talk about the pictures, after adding the picture, you can tap here and set it as a custom watch face directly from here. So here you can see that it will now set the picture as the custom watch face. And if you talk about the local music option, then you can also connect it with wireless earphones to use it as an mp3 player. And if you talk about the recording option, so once you are done with recording a file on the smartwatch, you can end the recording here, then you can play it directly on the smartwatch. Or you can go to the recording tab in the application and it will automatically sync the audio with the smartphone. After that it will take a few seconds to download it then you can play it here or you can tap here to share the audio on other social media applications or to save it to files. If you want to delete the recording from the smartphone you can just swipe from right to left and then tap on the delete icon. After that we also have the find device option using which you can find your smartphone easily. And we also get the find my phone option in the smartwatch using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it. You can also use the smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button to click pictures directly using it. Using the watch application you can also sync weather updates, you can also choose the unit from here and you can also scroll down to access the weather for the upcoming days. Then you can also select the unit system from here, then we have the time format option and in the end we have the more option where we have the restart and reset option. As far as I've checked it does not have the business card but payment QR code option. Then we have the dial tab where we have a lot of watch faces available for totally free and to install a watch face you can just tap on any watch face and then tap on the install button. You can only keep 6 watch faces at a time from the dial market and yes it does allow deleting the built in watch faces. You can also go to the wallpaper section to use your own picture from the gallery as a watch face. It also has a live setting option by which you can check which pointer is looking better on it. Then you can also move the content here and here it shows live movement so you can see where the clock is looking better. To that we also have the picture brightness option and you can also choose the font color from here. If you do not like the font colors from here, you can tap here and choose any shade you want. In the end if you go to the health tab, we have all of our health data and if you go to the me section, it can also connect with apple health. These were all of the options in the application. It uses the same connection for watch application and for bluetooth calling. You just need to make sure that you have enabled bluetooth icon from the control center to use bluetooth calling. And and once connected, you can go to the dial pad and call directly from the smartwatch and you can also receive calls directly on it. It rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call and once you accept the call, it has the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch from here. Then we have the mute option here and here we have the sound adjustment option. In the end, you can also end the call from here. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that it also shows the name of the caller. Then we have the AI voice assistant option here. You can tap here to wake up the voice assistant. How's the weather today? It looks like it will be partly cloudy today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 14. The volume level is quite loud and quite clear. In the end, it's time to check the music control. First of all, I'm gonna play a music file and I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth calling. Now let me show you that currently the iPhone is being used for the speaker. Now let's go to the music application and select mobile music from here. Now let's try. And yes, we can control the media playing on the device without having to use Bluetooth calling, which is a great option. Other than that, even if Bluetooth calling is turned on, you can go to settings and here scroll down to media sound and turn it off. And once you have done it, even with Bluetooth calling turned on, you can control the media playing on your device and it won't shift the sound from the smartphone to the smartphone. And now it's time to check the rest of the applications. First of all, we have a lot of sport modes here and here we have the settings icon by which you can customize the calories, distance and time target. Then we get today's data which stores all of your fitness data, sports record stores all of your sports data, then we have heart rate, blood pressure and blood oxygen level checker and if you use any of them in the air, it refuses to measure the data that please adjust the wearing posture and the sensors will stop working. Now let's go ahead and try it on the table. It has still given the error that please adjust the wearing posture which means it has proximity sensor as well as wear detection. Now let's try 
apply it with skin at the back and now the sensors are continuing to measure the data and in a few seconds it will start to show the values after that we have sleep tracker which also stores the sleep data for the last seven days then we have the flashlight option which can come in really handy in the dark here we have breath training you can also choose the speed from here and then choose the time you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch so let's go ahead and set an alarm i'm gonna turn on the ring option so let's wait for it so here is how the alarm is shown for me it did not ring but it does have the close and snooze option and the alarm alert continues for around 30 seconds after that we have timer application there are some predefined times here or you can tap here to choose time according to your need and it only vibrates when the timer ends then we have the stopwatch option you can tap here to start the stopwatch and then tap here to add laps and when you will end it you can take a look at all of the labs here we have an application for the females then we get a single game back a mall here then you can also keep your alipay qr code in it here we have the compass application and there is only one mode of compass inside it here we have the calculator application which has the basic functionalities like addition subtraction multiplication and these were all of the applications in the hd04 smartwatch the smartwatch is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 400 mAh, which can be charged using the wireless charger provided in the box the battery timing of this smartwatch has impressed me a lot i've been working on this video for about 40 minutes now and when i started recording the video it was at 70 percent and after almost 35 to 40 minutes of recording it has gone down to only 67 percent losing only three percent of the battery it equals one percent every 10 to 12 minutes and as you can judge from the video i've continuously interacted with the smartwatch in this time so the battery timing is surely great in this smartwatch so guys this was all from today's video and from this hd04 smartwatch so what do you think about it i really like it the battery timing is just amazing on this model and the overall look is looking quite nice what do you think about it and i really like the display the ui and overall functions of the smartwatch it also has one gigabytes of memory and you can also connect it with wireless earphones if you would like to place an order i'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch you can also visit the channel to find many more amazing smartwatch videos like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMath. Peace.